welcome to another episode of Unqualified Experts. Today we have an extra special guest. This is Mr. Can I, you want your full name? Kevin Sanchez. Kevin Sanchez. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say Kevin. Kevin Sanchez. Yeah. I wasn't sure. I like I like people knowing I'm Dominican for cool points. Is that cool points? Well, I want woke points. Okay. I'm, 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 uh, I want people to be like, oh, I need to see him because he's Spanish. That's right, it. I'm, I like going, that. I'm going full forward. I don't care anymore. Hell yeah. Fuck I, I don't care it. anymore. You're like, I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I use that I'm from Hawaii a lot because it makes me sound cooler than just some random ass white girl. Yeah. Well, yes, it does. <laughs> but it, as soon as you told me you were from Hawaii, I was immediately interested. I was like, oh, there you go. But I also, I know how racist. We talked about this on the Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was on Dope Up and Dying, a Sunday morning smoke show. Yep, my check podcast it out. with Dylan J. Negri and DC Williams. It's a really fun podcast. I had yeah. such a good time. Did you? Yeah, I did. Thank I really did. And Dylan awesome. was Dylan afterwards had nice things to say. I was like, thank you. Yeah. It was very cool. It was very fun. Uh, so this is the episode or the podcast where we give advice to the internet because there are a lot of people out there that really need help and we're not qualified to help them, but we're gonna try. I, I love I love people who are like Go out to the internet and go, I need advice from strangers. Yeah. Right? And I'm the guy to give you advice. This you guy, want me right to here. give you advice. This it's going to be a <laughs> lot of like you should kill people, but it'll be a good time. It'll be fun. It'll be it's going to be fun. This first one is, it's a lot, a lot of it is dating and sex advice, but there are some yes. like random stuff that gets thrown in there too. This first one looks like dating advice. Let's go. So this is, I'm going to preface this because there's an edit at the end that says we live in Mexico. So this, these are people in Mexico. Um, this guy starts it off saying, oh no, this girl starts it off. I'm sorry. She's a 21 year old female and mm -hmm. she's talking about her 50 year old uncle. My uncle is very, very kind. That's why he's my favorite. However, he's so kind that everyone takes advantage of him and he knowingly lets them. So he kind of believes the lies people say. He always had trouble finding love. Now he's been dating this girl for two years her parents don't allow it, but also don't care. Meanwhile, she was 14, meaning she was 14, he was 48. Oh my God, she was 14 and he was 48. Wow. Okay. Um, the girl influences strong, him strongly to do drugs and drink heavily. He had a bad reputation with drugs. God, I can't read today. He once got kidnapped due to it. And he's wanted to stop, but now this girl just motivates him to do it. He doesn't listen to anyone about her, and I'm very disgusted. What can I do? Wait, she's oh 14? Oh, my God. She's 16 she's, now. The girl's 16, and, and he's, he's dating. 50. And he's 50. Sounds like my grandpa. It sounds like a guy that's like, I shouldn't be talking to the 16-year-old girl. And then she's like, just do more drugs. <laughs> That's how she's doing it. She, she's like, just she, keep doing drugs. Just keep doing drugs. Buy me drugs. Because he needs to suspend reality. Yeah. Right? He can't. He, like, his, I don't know about you. I don't know if you ever dated someone who was way younger than you. No. I dated a girl who was like, but, uh, she was like just four or five years younger than me. Okay. And you feel it immediately. It's weird, right? It's so weird. Yeah. Uh, I, when I was 25, I dated a 20-year-old. She couldn't get into bars. She couldn't. And see, that's not even that weird of a gap. Like when you tell me if you're a 25 year old guy and you tell me your girlfriend's 20, I don't, I wouldn't think twice about that. So once it's like 18 and under, that's when shit starts to get weird, weird when you're like, mm, dude, but I, that's not a weird gap. But it's interesting that you say you feel it. You feel it right yeah. away. It's like, oh, she, she, they don't have perspective on life yet. They're so young. But in Mexico, for all we know. Her whole family was decapitated by, True. The, by the cartel. Like she's True. probably, you know what I mean? Yeah, like she's, it's a different she's world. Some shit. She probably seen some shit. <laughs> but at, uh, but you dated her at fourteen, bro. That's creepy. That's creepy. Come There's on, no way bro. around that. You're fucking a fifty year old man. She's fourteen. That's weird. Now I can't lie to you. I'm from Dominican Republic, right? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna sound fucked up. Is that kind of stuff happen? Is that like sort it's of just kind of the norm? So it's it's interesting that you say that that kind of stuff doesn't happen as much now in Hawaii, but it definitely that's something that I've also seen kind of a lot in Hawaii. Yeah. And so I grew up with a different perspective of it, too, where you see that and you're like, oh, that's not as crazy as you think it is until you get out into the world. Now, now that I'm older and I've been out in the U.S., the continental U.S., yeah. and out in the world more, I'm like, oh, that's so that's fucked. weird. Yeah. When I was a kid. <laughs> when I was a kid, I was in junior high. When I was in junior high school, there were I thought that I was I had to compete compete with grown men for the girls my age affection. That's so weird. Yeah. See, that's weird. A lot of dudes were dating junior high school girls. Like grown men with cars. And they would come through, they'll buy the girl like a Mr. Softy milkshake. It was 
yo, dude. But and I thought it was normal. Like I was a kid. I was like, right. man, I can't compete with. I don't got Mister Softy money. Like <laughs> <laughs> I can't buy you Mister Softy. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and now if I knew I could have snitched, I would have snitched. But like, is, well, see, but what's the age of consent? I don't know what it's like in different countries. Some kind, like, is there an age of consent in Mexico? Or is it just whatever? Honestly, it's probably like 16. 16? Okay. Like 16. So for so like he, two years. For two years, he was doing something super Ooh. illegal. Uh, honestly, my advice to this girl is there's not anything you can do. Wait, what does she want to do? She, Break them up? Yeah, she's, she's trying to... He's, she's trying to get him to break up with her and get away from the whole drug situation. This is my, as, as someone who has a, an addict as a sister, there's, and I, and I actually know we yes, bonded right, about we, this on, yes, on Dope yeah. Up and Dying. So you know, you get it too. As someone who has an addict as a sister and who's, do, and who does drugs and puts drugs over family and they're not going to listen and you throw a young girl into the mix for this old guy, this older man, there honestly probably isn't anything that you can do or say. I think there's one thing you could do. What's that? You could shame him. You think that would work? I think not about the drug part. Just right? the girl. Just the girl. Like you okay. dating a 16 year old, you fucking loser. Pervert. You pervert. <laughs> you just got to shame him and then tell your other family to shame him. That's how you learn. Just, that's how you learn. You learn by shame. So here's my question. Fat shaming, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> you know what my mother used to call me? I'm fat now. Right now. I'm, I'm a chubby guy, right? My mom... She, she saw that I had always had a problem with weight. My mom used to call me a pichon de elefante. What does that mean? That is a, you're so heavy. You're the size of an elephant with a bird on top. <laughs> oh my God. Where does the bird come from? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know where this bitch came from. You pichon de elefante? <laughs> I was like, yo, that's mad disrespectful. But I, I, I would constantly, I started working out. Did you? Yeah. She got you to work out? She got me to work okay. out. I, I feel like I'm, I'm half and half on this approach i feel like it's good to teach your kids healthy habits and but then there's also there's that part of shit there's you can use shame in some senses like you know when you see these like i I don't know when you see these morbidly obese people and they're like i'm fine the way i am no you're not you're not no you're not you know i I have a fee i'm doing this bit on stage right i'm trying at least but it's so hard because people would hate it because they know it's real Oh yeah, so but that's I'm how like, you know it's good. My biggest fear mm-hmm. is that, like, I know right now I need to lose weight and get in shape because if not, it's all downhill. It well, because as you get older, it gets harder. It, it gets sucks. Harder. Exactly. It fucking sucks. So, I I'm doing this thing where it's like I just I know if I if I don't fix it right now, I'm gonna be in front of a camera trying to get on a reality show. Just going. My 600 pound life. Yeah, just trying to get like a waistband surgery paid for by HGTV or some shit like that. You know what I mean? It's just, just anything. And then the rats came. Like, I don't. <laughs> I started frying chicken at night. <laughs> and I'm just heavy. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. You don't look like you're at that point at all. Too. I understand what you're saying. You don't want to let it get to that but, point. It, but I know me. Right, 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 I've right. I've been almost 300 pounds before. Okay. So I know that it's a slippery slope. And then I have bad habits too. Like I would like, I have these moments when I walk into like a grocery store. And I'm like, go get the bananas, bro. Get the apple. There's an apple and banana right there. <laughs> That's good. And then I see pastries. And then I no longer see apples and bananas. I, it's like I, I fucking like a gloss goes over my eye and I just start picking out ding dongs and shit like that. Uh, or, yeah. Little Debbie snack cakes. Yeah. I get it. I get it. It's I, <laughs> it's fucking hard. I'm kind of the same in the sense. I just I love food. I love food so much. I honestly think my one saving grace is that I was raised by a bodybuilder. Mm. And so I know a lot about mom or dad. Tra- dad. Okay. Yeah, I know a lot about training and nutrition and all that kind of stuff. And I've I've been to the ex- too much of the extreme on either point. <laughs> like I've had an eating disorder. I've gotten like too thin at points. I've been I've had real problems. But as I've gotten older, I've gotten really good at balance. And that's my biggest thing is balancing. I try to try really hard. Just 80, 20, 80 percent. I'm healthy. I'm moving. Mm. I'm eating good things. I'm hydrating. And then 20 percent is just garbage food. And I love that 20 percent so yeah. much. But that 20 see, I, I, I have no discipline when it comes to food. So once you have a little bit, once that's I have it. a little bit, I'm like, I need more, <laughs> you know, I like, I, oh, and it's embarrassing too. like, no. I got to get like you're the other day, the I, I, I was, well, it was, you know, New York, it gets cold. I'm in a pea coat mm-hmm. and I have pastries in my pocket and I like did a fat move and I like opened it with one hand. 
<laughs> while it was in my pocket. <laughs> right, so I'm doing like this thing till I get the, and then bang, I open it. I was like, yo, how did I do it? And then I pull out a pastry out of my pocket. I was like, no grown man <laughs> should ever pull out a pastry for this pie. And I slammed the pastry on the floor because I was so angry with myself. And I threw away this. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> It's kind of amazing that you that you got so mad at yourself that you threw it away. Okay, honestly, you're not the only one. I have 100% put cookies and shit in my pockets <laughs> and in my purses. 100%. Especially because I'm like, oh, I'll just have this as a little snack later. So shame this. Shame your shame uncle. Shame the guy. Shame him and then have a family group text about him. Okay. And then once in a blue moon, him include him. <laughs> include like him on the... the shit they were saying. <laughs> you know what? I like that. Send, send screenshots. <laughs> By the way, we're talking shit about you. <laughs> You big pervert, <laughs> big gross pervert. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Great. Moving on. We've got that one. Shame him. Boom. <laughs> Shame. Done. Shame. Oh, this next one is really fun. Okay. So I noticed the grinder app icon. On my <laughs> Uh, on my boyfriend's phone the other day. Say that. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I wasn't expecting. It's really bad. This is really bad. Um, (laughs) And when I confronted him about it, he claimed he hadn't downloaded it. We have a family sharing setup with two additional members, four people total, one of which uses Grindr regularly. My boyfriend swears that the person who regularly uses Grindr must have accidentally downloaded it to his to his phone. Is this even possible? I can't. <laughs> I was shaking his head. I can't shake the feeling that my boyfriend was up to some shady stuff and couldn't think of another excuse when he got caught. Now I'm not sure what to do. Your boyfriend's <laughs> gay. He mad gay. Yeah, nah. no one accidentally downloads no, an app on something. someone else's phone. I downloaded Grinder once. Did you really? Yes. For what? I'll tell you. Okay. So my brother is, um, damn, I'm just going to go out and say it. My brother used to uh, give massages. Oh, okay. He did happy ending massages. Yes. For girls or guys? Guys. Guys. Gotcha. Is he gay or he just good money? Super gay. Super gay. Okay. (laughs) Um, I wonder if he cares that I share this story. It doesn't matter. I don't care. We'll talk. Right. Sorry, sorry, brother. No one's judging you. Let's just say that. And, and also, make your money how you make your money. I have an OnlyFans. Jesus. I, I love that he did it. By the way, so he goes, Kevin. I need help mm-hmm. getting clients. And if you oh. could sift through the clients for me, okay. This was to look for. Yeah. Man, Grinder's a wild place. <laughs> that is, I don't understand if gay if gay dude could get pregnant. We be overpopulated. We be over. I am convinced, th- and this is going to sound super weird, and I don't mean it in a shitty way at all. I'm convinced that homosexuality in nature is a completely natural thing, first of all, mm-hmm. but it's used for, it's for population control. Ooh. I'm convinced that it's some nature's way of, of population of control because they're like, well, if they're gay, that they they can't procreate. We have too many fucking humans on this planet. I believe the universe is. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I, <laughs> I believe the universe has a mind. And it okay. and and and, and it's aware. Yeah, it's aware that seven billion might be too much. <laughs> like that's too many people. Let's that's... sprinkle some more gay people out mm-hmm. there. And like that's what I'm saying. We, that's fucking great that there are gay people. This... They can adopt the babies that people don't want. They gay don't dudes make their do own. Do Wilt Chamberlain numbers every month? Yes, yes, every that month. I'm aware of. I have had a number of gay friends who have told me stories that it's like one guy I used to work with him at this restaurant back in LA and he was gay and he would tell me these stories. He's like, oh yeah, you go to the gym and there's like, you look at guys and there's just this look that you give them. So, and and they know and they're like, yeah, we'll go into the locker room and just like fuck in the showers. Mm -hmm. Like five minutes later, they're they're fucking in the showers. Nope. They They do it at the Equinox. Yep. (laughs) Yep. They're having a, they're having a good time. time. They're having a great time. Wait, so, Grinder, grinder on the phone. No, no one accidentally downloads an app onto someone else's phone. Your your boyfriend's definitely probably either gay or bisexual. Yeah, he's bi- he's probably bi. He's, he's probably scared bi. to come out. You know. Uh, well, ask yourself a question. How often are you guys fucking? Oh, good question. Right, like, is he having problems getting it up? That does is he, a very good question. Does he does he ask you to dress like Billie Eilish? <laughs> Here, put these really baggy pants on. Yeah, yo, put this big sweater something? on. I love the way that girl dresses. She's yeah, she's kinda, great. I, she's got so much confidence. I, I love the way she I, Honestly, half my style now is Billie Eilish. You see that sweater and you're like... <laughs> big ass sweater, man. 
<laughs> I like it too. You know, it's it. Mine wasn't quite to that extent, but I, when I was in high school, I was real. I don't. I want to. I don't want to say emo, but like a little bit. Like I like emo music, mostly metal and rock and stuff and grunge. But I wore a lot of like baggy Dickies pants, oh. but like with small tops. That's that was something. like my oh, so style. You were ahead of your style. You were ahead of the game. I was ahead, ahead of the ahead game. Of the curve. What's coming back now was my style in high school. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> Yo, it's so it's so. Do- I like that. Like in New York City, so I was walking with a. I have a day job still, so I was working with my manager from, and he was from Austin, Texas, and he goes, "This is incredible. Like, dude, there's so many different styles. Mm-hmm. Every every two minutes, somebody's like, everyone here looks like a star to people. By the way, yeah, it's wild. Like when you bring People who are not from New York City into New York City, everyone to them looks like a celebrity. You know what? I can see that. I can see that. It's kind of similar in L.A. There's a similar thing, too, where there's good-looking people. Like, walking around New York City, there's good-looking people everywhere. I see girls and guys that are easily could be supermodels it, all over the fucking place. I, you know what's crazy? It's not really that they're good-looking. It's that the they fact got money. that they took a chance wearing whatever the fuck they're wearing. Like, there's, <laughs> there's people out there wearing this lingerie outside. What's up? Like, what up? Also true. And I love it. Also true, yeah. You know what I what else I love as just a girl who never wears a bra ever? That girls never wear bras Respect. anymore. I see it all Respect. over the studio. You, I'm you, like, you still yes. rocking bras? Me? No, yeah. I hate bras. You They're terrible. I heard that um well, I don't know. I just I read this on Facebook. A lot of my information I guess from Facebook. <laughs> so and by the way, everybody. Everyone is a Facebook fucking genius. Mm-hmm. That's what all they are. But yeah. I heard that bras aren't uh, just not good for you. Well, yeah. So there's a couple different things I've read about them. I've read first that they can make your boobs sag more. I don't know that's, how that works, but I've read. yeah, I've read. I have read that, and there's some study on it. I don't know. Uh, and then also like wearing underwires can possibly cause breast cancer, but I don't know if that's true or if that's just some bullshit that I read. <laughs> so that could be some bullshit that I read. Uh, so what advice are we giving this girl? Yeah, what, so what are we... This, so this girl, I think that you... Mm, I wonder if she would care. I mean, if... So look, if if you're cool with dating someone who's bisexual, and I don't think that that's like a deal breaker at all, but everyone's different. Mm-hmm. But I just think that if he has grinder, the real problem is that he's cheating on you <sighs> or thinking about it. Whether he's bisexual or not, the fact is that he's... So I would, she, the fact that she, I mean, she talked to him and he keeps swearing that it's not his. I don't know if there's anything else you really can do. Damn. Keep an eye on him or break up or with break him. Up with him. Or, or set him up. With a dude? No, you download Grinder, right? Oh, with catfish him. Yeah. Catfish him. Catfish him. But what it Desperate the, times I, call for desperate measures. Yo. I don't know, man. That's you don't even wild. need a picture of a face. You just put half the time on Grinder. It's just pictures of dicks. P- all dicks. It's all dicks. He's like, it's all it's dicks. All dicks. There's dicks no and, faces. Dicks and buttholes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I would say either break up with him or if you really want to know before you break up with him, try to catfish him. Let's go. See if, see if that'll work. <laughs> just, just, just get a picture of a nice dick that you see online and, and put it on there. Uh, let me ask you. Wait. Uh, what state is she from? Does it say? Doesn't say. Oh, okay. Damn. It doesn't say what state she's from. I know. I was hoping it was Mexico. <laughs> Just all of these are in Mexico. <laughs> Be like, man, it's a lot going on in Mexico. No, imagine a grinder in Mexico. Do you, is Mexico one of those countries where if you're gay, you can get easily be killed? Uh, most countries. Most like, countries yeah, are like that. That's like why that. I always just kind of wonder if it's. But they have a whole gay island in Mexico. It's they called, have a gay island. <laughs> basically, my brother goes to it all the That's time. That's great. They just go off and they're like, "This is where I live now." Yeah, and they fuck. Let them be like, free outside of the whole, like right outside. Of, What's up, man? Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what up? Fist hey. bumping on the way in. <laughs> Y'all got next. <laughs> While like some DJ is fucking playing, it's fucking crazy. And I bet you, since prep became a thing, it's gotten even more. Wild, because they're like, "Oh, we're good now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to worry about it." Like prep is, prep has been a game changer. Oh man. Oh fuck. Yeah, I feel like that's the best advice we got. Moving on. This sorry, is shorty. a really. We- I know. Sorry, girl. That sucks. <laughs> Your dude's cheating on you. Um, <laughs> is having an 8 p.m. curfew at as a 22 year old embarrassing? Kind of. I hate it. It's so annoying to have strict parents. It's stupid. I'm 22. Why do I have to be home at 8 p.m.? But also, I want to know if it's embarrassing. Update. I'm a girl who's 22 years old. Oh, I come from a Muslim culture. All right. Um, my dad is sort of like those types where he believes it's dangerous for women at night. Um, 
culture plays a really big part here. Yeah. I was thinking as as like an American girl, I was thinking that's fucking insane. Yeah. Because even at like 16, my curfew was midnight. So mm. not that I had a very strict dad, <laughs> but you know. Well, you know what? I think you should abandon your family. Just, just, <laughs> just go and never just come back. Never come back. Just take off. No, I, mm, that that's is... hard. You can never see a movie. You only see daytime movies. You can never go out at night to see them. You can't even go to the movie theater. Oh. Come home at 11 p.m. What you about gotta, dinner? You gotta go to matinees all the time. You gotta go to matinees. You have to have early bird specials for dinner if you want to have dinner with a friend. How old is your... Dude, I don't know what to say. Because, like, honestly, like, I don't know. Where are you from, bitch? Yeah, where are you from? Are you, are you, if you're in the United States, yo, fucking move out, by the way. Yeah, right. Time you're 22. What's happening? Time to leave. I don't know where you're at, but go find some roommates, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, your dad is like that. You're on his roof, I guess. You got to listen to him. 8 p.m. curve. 8 is really early. Is he paying for your college? If he's no. not, yo, get the fuck out. Get out. And also, if you're in college, you're just about done, right? Like, that's... Should be, unless you fucking up. But <laughs> you shouldn't be fucking up because you got an 8 p.m. curve for <laughs> you. Know, studying <laughs> you know, every you know, studying. night. <laughs> Take Ugh. summer school. Get the hell out of school so you can get out of there. Yeah, I think it is stupid. You're right. It's, and it sounds like she thinks it's stupid. She probably lives in America because she's got like, this is insane. I'm guessing. I could obviously be wrong. She's definitely in America. Yeah. yeah. I think that you need to move out. I think that sound advice. Find, find some roommates and yeah. get the hell out of there. I mean, you d- is, it your, is your dad going to disown you? Probably. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But, uh, that's the chance you take for not wanting 8 p.m. curfew. That's ridiculous. 8 p.m. Damn. Midnight. I can see, I can see, like, my mom used to say, uh, when I was living there as an adult, she was like, if you come here and you make noise at a certain time, just know you woke me up, and that I'm going to let you know that I'm not going to let you in. I'm going to put the, because she, she had a lock that uh, if that shit was on, you just have to like wait till 9 a.m. Just basically go to some <laughs> random all night diner and be like, yeah. well, well, I'm here now. Yeah. So I don't know. Fucking. Yeah. Abandon your family. The great Tim Dillon said that. Goes, Is that what he said? Abandon your family? <laughs> just abandon your family. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I think that you could probably get away with moving out. I think you could probably get away with moving out and going and living on your own and getting some roommates at 22. It's. I know it's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do, but you're 22 years old. Get yeah, a job. Get a job, girl. Get a job. Moving on. <laughs> That's the problem with being dependent on parents. Yeah. Gotta, I will say, I will say that I didn't get, I, I was never dependent on my parents. And I think in, in a lot of ways that was really good. Mm-hmm. Like by the time I was 16, I had two jobs in high school. My dad bought me a car. He bought me my first car. He bought me a 1992 Toyota Camry. Wow. And then from there, it was like, well, you're on your own now. And so I had to work. I worked for my gas money. I worked for money to buy my own clothes. I worked for all that kind of stuff. And then ever since then, I've asked him for help here and there, but he's not a big helper. (laughs) He's he's not a big, like, financial helper. Listen, my mom, (laughs) yo, I can't, like, if my life fucks up, it's just on me. Right. If I fuck up, it's just on me all day. Like, there's no... I go back home, mom. Like, there's no, there's none of that. That's exactly what I. That that is literally the exact situation I'm in, where people are like, "Mom, I, you know, they go back home and live with their parents." It's like I don't have that. That's why it's insane, and I'm following my dreams. Hell yeah, fucking it's, go for it, dude. Oh no, I, I, I every day I'm like, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's no, but it's great. It's fucking great because you're and but you're not great. Like you still have a day job. You're not insane. I, you're not I, like I just I just started a day job. Okay. Yeah, I never had one, but I also found a way to make money because I I got paid through the military. Okay, I I was getting the GI Bill. Were you in? You were in the military, obviously. I'm guessing. Yeah, I was in the army. Okay. Um, yeah, but it was always like I, I feel like I'm always in a perpetual state of fucking fear. Yep. Right, because like I'm like I don't know how long I'm always thinking I'm gonna get fired. By the way. Because I don't care about the job that much. Right. Because you yeah. go in and you're just like, well, I'm just doing it. Because it's not your dream. It's not what you mm-hmm. want to be doing with your life. No. But you're still doing both and you're still pursuing your dreams. And I think that's a fucking awesome thing. And now I'm giving Even advice to motherfuckers scary. on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> just know, just know I've been up for 48 hours. <laughs> I've taken a Puerto Rican shower before coming here. You is a Puerto is? Rican shower like a horse bath? What's a horse bath? When you just wipe yourself down with rags? Yes. <laughs> that's what I did. Yeah. Um... And I was drunk 
up until 2 p.m. today. Okay. Yeah, like, I woke up drunk. You're killing like, it. Is I'm... that why you got the coffee? I love it. You're like, yo, I'm going to Dunkin'. You want anything? <laughs> Cold brew, bitch. <laughs> Have slept for 48 hours. I won't sleep for another 24. You're living the life, man. <laughs> You're living the life. You're living the life that most people only dream of. Oh. Honestly, that's true. It is. It really people is. People actually dream about this shit. Yeah, I don't have children. Fuck like, no. I get to do whatever the fuck I want. And when I fuck up, it's on me. I had someone message me today asking me on OnlyFans if I want kids or want to be pregnant or want to have kids. Mm. I was like, no. No? No. The, I don't want to do any of that. It scares the res- shit out of me. Respect. It scares the shit out of me. Besides the fact of... I want to, I'm not even a point where I can really take care of myself. I mean, I am, I've always been able to take care of myself, but I'm like you living in a perpetual state of fear that I'm constantly scared that everything's going to get taken away. Mm -hmm. What if I lose my house? Like, I know I won't let that happen. I'm a hard worker. I will always find a job. I have, I'm good. I know that no matter what, I'll be fine. But there's still that constant anxiety of like. My buddy kind of put things in perspective. He goes, uh, you're 30, right? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, have you ever been homeless? I'm like, no. Exactly. Then you've always figured it out, you've right? You've always figured it out. You're going to always figure it out. Exactly. You're not a dumb person. Yeah. You're going to figure it out. And then it, you, I got to constantly remind myself that. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to remind yourself that every day. Yes. Yes, it is. And when you're constantly terrified that like, is this the month where I'm fucked? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is this it? And by the way, I'm approaching it. And the month just started. Mm. I'm, what is it? Two weeks in? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two weeks in. It's the 16th. It's April 16th. What were we talking about? What is this one? Oh, Oh, good girl moving out. Move out, bitch. (laughs) Literally after everything we just said, she's like, I'm never leaving my parents' house ever. (laughs) Or listen to your dad. (laughs) Listen, Yeah, either or. Either or. There is no in between here, lady. Or you could if you really wanted to. If you really, I don't know what kind of uh, father your dad is. If he's a reasonable man, if you can sit down and be like, look. If I go, can I stay out till 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. if I'm with people? Uh, you know, something like that. Like, yeah. they'll they'll take me home. They'll give me a ride to the door. That kind of shit. <sighs> oh, here's a prank. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> a prank? Yeah, there's okay. a prank. Uh, so, little background. My girlfriend and I have been dating for two months. New relationship. Mm. And we still haven't slept together. Damn, after two months. And Are this you... is heterosexual sex Do right here. Smash? <laughs> no smashing. No smashing. No smashing. Two months. Two months. Are you sixteen? Like- <laughs> it's crazy. She said it's because some guys she dated dumped her after they had sex. Okay, so she developed trust issues. All right, I get it. I respect that. Plus, I really like her, so it's no problem. So one day we texted, and she tells me she has pregnancy symptoms and she feels sick and threw up a few times. She hasn't had her period, and she did a pregnancy test. And she's <laughs> she- pregnant. <laughs> So at the moment, I was in shock. At first, I was like, okay, are you sure? I thought it was before we started dating, like a one-night stand or something. I was processing the whole thing, but I wouldn't have actually been a problem for me. So he would have just raised the kid as his own. As his own. What a keeper. But then she said it was two weeks after we started dating that she slept with some dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. I asked, you cheated on me. She said yes. At the moment, I've stopped the conversation, pissed as fuck, and basically started crying. Understandable. A few messages later, she saw I wasn't replying or anything. She called and told me she was pranking me. And her friend texted me as well, saying it was a little prank. She laughed it off. I pretended to laugh for some reason as well. I don't know why. But I couldn't look at her the same way again now. So good people have read it, as I have never been in a situation like this. I mean, cheated on, yes, but not in this sort of thing. Can you guys give me some advice on what to do? I kind of lost my trust towards her. Oh, my God, break up with her. Because one of two things are happening right here. She pranked you, and Mm -hmm. then I say fucked up prank, Mm -hmm. dump her, because that sucks. Or she cheated on you, saw your reaction, was like, no, 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 I'm just kidding. I was just joking. And you also need to dump her. Yeah, either way. First of all, I hate prank couples. I never want to be a part of a cup, like uh, be a part of a relationship where mm-hmm. the bitch want to prank me all the time. Not no ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> don't prank me. I don't like pranks. Yeah. yeah, you know what? And it, coming from someone who you really trust like that, like your partner is supposed to be the person you trust the most. Yeah, because oh, first of all, if she did prank you, she's an insane person. That's a right. Fucked up prank. That's a really fucked up prank. But the second thing is, she's lying. Yeah, she didn't prank you, bro. She got pregnant. Not only did she get pregnant. She let somebody fuck her raw. Now that's, and shot she's the, not fucking shot you. Shot the club up. Didn't even ask him to pull out. She uh. was like, let me get it. 
So now you know you got a cream pie chick, right? She probably didn't want you to fuck because she probably needed to get an STI, STD check, and she's just been brushing it off. Yeah. Bro, break up. It's been two months, bro. You can't love this chick. I didn't chick. even think about that. You can't love this chick? No, fuck her. Nah, nah I, I should take that back because I am part of the Fall in Love Fast Crew filth. It Fall in Love Fast Crew, that filth that it has a name? Yeah, it, I, the, me and my boy made it up. The <laughs> Mac Almanac <laughs> podcast with Josh Pallet is changing the Bad Scouts. Uh, <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's the fastest you've ever fallen in love? Girl? Girl? <laughs> oh, no. I fall in love all the time. <laughs> I be falling in love on the train, building a story about a girl. Like, mm. She looks like she likes to bait. She probably has dreams to own a pastry shop. That's mad cute. <laughs> I, I fall in love with girls with long nails. Okay. Because like, I, I, I love a girl with like long, long done up nails. Mm-hmm. That is so sexy to me. And I fall in love. I fall in love quick. If you if a girl's funny, it's over. Except for comedian chicks. That's weird. Interesting. So you like a girl who's funny but not a comedian? No. Because I I know, first of all, I can see, you know what it is? I can see the pain in your eyes. (laughs) You're a comedian? (laughs) You're a comedian? I can see the pain. You're damaged, girl. I know the the look. I look in the mirror all the time. Every single comedian has been through some shit. That's just the way it works. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, I mean, at least the good ones. I I hate that that that's a true thing, but it's true. I fall in love fast, too quick. That's so. But I also fall out of love just as fast so you you get like infatuated you get Mm -hmm. you get really infatuated with a person and a feeling because i get it whenever the beginning parts of relationships are usually great you're like oh i really love this person i love everything about them it's how quickly they start to really fucking annoy you that determines how 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 compatible you guys are like (laughs) (laughs) like this is a girl excuse me this is the problem being an adult by the way you start ingesting anything and makes you burp all day long Mm -hmm. it's the worst disgusting I hate being an adult sometimes. I want, you know, I like the 24 to 27 range. That was perfect. 24 to 27 is good. Now, my, for me, I didn't start getting my shit together until I was like 26. Oh, no, I'm not talking about getting my shit together. Oh, just I'm in general. I'm talking about just like I can eat anything. My metabolism was quick. I didn't burp all the time. Yeah, my you knee know. didn't pop when I did squats. Exactly. <laughs> None of that. Yeah. But I, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place. It's been 48 hours of no sleep. That's so. okay. This is going to be a fun one. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. It's going to be this is a good one. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> oh, yeah. This girl lives in the Bronx. I think I, I I just fell out of love with her. Out of? Yeah, I just I can't love a girl in the Bronx. Is Just because she's from the Bronx? Not because she's from the Bronx. I actually like that she's from the Bronx. I hate that she lives there currently. Okay. I've never been to the Bronx. What's it like? It's not fun when you live on opposite ends of the fucking city. So I live in Brooklyn. Right. Near Coney Island. Okay. And she lives in West Bubblefuck Bronx. And that's far. That's too far. That's, that's almost far. two hours. I Holy shit. Yeah. I love that that's like a long distance relationship in New York. Yeah. You can't date someone from the Bronx when you live in Brooklyn. So that is telling that she's not special enough for you to <laughs> <laughs> to want to put. Like, that's, that's very telling. This is this is it's done. You're right. Yeah. The, the truth is, yes, yeah. you're right. She's not like it's, there's certain people who like there's certain girls. You ever like you're married, right? Mm-hmm. So before Nick, mm-hmm. was, but yeah, Nick. Okay, I yeah, don't yeah. want to like. I was, <laughs> no, I was gonna ask. But he does a podcast with you. So people oh know. yeah, no, he's fine. Um, before Nick, did you ever like? I wish this person had that person's personality, but look like this person. You know what I mean? Like, if you could, like... Right, right, right. Like, if you could mix, mix match people. Yeah. yeah. there is one guy I dated who... He's not hot now, which I love. I love it so much. I've I like seen the, him and I I'm love just, petty. <laughs> I'm There's so nothing. petty. <laughs> it was... But while we were dating, he was, like, an MMA guy. So, he was in, like, super crazy good shape. Mm. And, like, he was... Like, I brought him to the beach once and my friend was like, Oh, my God, <laughs> Like, what the fuck? Like, Are he had, like... God? Yeah, he had, like, eight abs. Damn. He's like kind of fat now. Anyway, and he just looks old and not good. Anyway, not the point. Um, but he sucked as a person. I was strictly dating him because this was 100% one of those relationships where I was like, he's hot, but he sucks and he's kind of stupid. But that's okay because he's really hot. It and it matter. wasn't going to be serious. It, exactly. If it's- I could have switched his personality out with someone who was really fucking cool, then yeah, that yeah. would have been great. But it, but it, that wasn't him. He sucked. So the, and so and and that's why we leave you in the dust. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why. And now you don't even have hotness. Now you're just old and gar. He was a garbage. I wonder person. how many girls go, uh, go to my Instagram who I used to date and be like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
oh, thank no. God. What Not are you even... doing? You want to be a comedian? <laughs> you want to be a podcast? This guy wants to be a... Oh. When you have 100 and 500,000 followers, they'll change their tunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the follower count is. What, what, what people are. <laughs> when, it starts, when it starts to be like, uh, oh, this guy's a success. Right? When it's yeah. impressive. That's what I'm trying to get to. So when my exes look at my Instagram, they're like, damn, this damn bitch it. is doing things. She's doing things. Yeah. Oh. That's I have what I want. A, a, one girl, I was just talking about this with somebody who, like, I can't wait till like, I have a special or something and. Netflix is like, where do where where do you want to? We want to put billboards up. Where would you want it? <laughs> Obviously, New York, and then we're like, also Tampa. Is she lives in Tampa? She lives in Tampa. Put it right across the street from her house. I want it. At, no, her job. Her job. Okay, because she has to look at it all she day. She has to look. She has to go. That's true. That way, and I want, I want people to be like, oh, I want her a coworkers. I want to see that guy special. And you she has to be like, we dated. <sighs> Man, I used to date that guy. <laughs> and we broke up because I suck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I love Only that. Only girl that really broke my heart was that girl. That girl, mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's weird how you carry that stuff with you. You do. I can't, you can Well, I also did something very embarrassing. Oh no. Where like uh, two months, yeah, okay, two months yes. later, I was like, um, it's really sad. I was wanted to marry this girl. Wow. Like, so it was like serious. Yeah, yeah. And I love her family. Her family liked me, and I was ready to go all in. And uh, anyway, two months later, I'm at the super. I'm at the Super Bowl party. All of my boys are with their girls. Just enjoying the time. I'm the only one act- actively watching the game, right? Because they're all hugging and kissing, like making out in front of me. I was, You're like, okay, first of all, this is a super. That's fuck it. First of all, really in front weird. of your single friend. Second of all, this is a Super Bowl party. Calm down. Calm down. Jesus Christ. They, it was. They were all seem to be, have been in new relate. It was new relationship oh, energy. Okay, so that's where they fucking make it. They're just making out everywhere mm-hmm. all the time. Playing with his wife's pussy. I mean, his girl's pussy in front of the game. Like, it was weird. You that's know? weird. I don't care what stage of the relationship you're <laughs> in. That's weird. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that in front of a party. Like, oh. I, I've actually fingered. Anyway, <laughs> so once we're at a time. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, um. So I fucking hit her up and I go, <laughs> I go, hey, just to let you know. And by this is before I even thought about doing comedy. I'm like, I'm gonna be on every goddamn billboard <gasps> <laughs> in New York City. You watch. I, it was so cringy. I don't even. I was so drunk. <laughs> oh, that's a drunk text. That, that sounds it. like mm-hmm. a drunk text. Oh my god, that is. I'm sorry. That's, know, that so is embarrassing. embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> you just wait. You my just name wait. is gonna be up in the lights. Like yeah, it was a little text. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I hate myself. <laughs> oh, that's, but now, but that's good. For I still comedy. remember that. Yeah. And I'm and and now I feel like I gotta live. I gotta. You have to make up. You have to get to that point where that text makes sense. Yup. So that it's at least. Yep. Less and it's creepy. starting to. Yeah. It's creeping in that direction. She added me back on Instagram. Did she really? Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah. And uh, she was like, oh, I see you doing some stuff. That's pretty cool. That's oh. Pretty cool. Oh. Anyway, pretty she's divorced cool. now, and I'm pretty happy about it. She's divorced? Mm-hmm. <gasps> she's like your age, right? So she's 30. She's 30. Oh, 20. No, she might be a year younger than me. 29. All yeah. right. Still, though. Still. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> we are so petty, clearly. Yeah, I'm petty. Oh man, I am too. It's really bad. Uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> um, so I picked up my friend from work, and she asked if she could take her shoes off for the ride, and I agreed because honestly, I don't really care. Fine. Sure. As soon as she took her shoes off, my nose literally melted, and I tried to sneakily <laughs> roll the windows down without being rude. Oh fuck. <laughs> Uh, drove and dropped her off for the next day and my boyfriend and I went to my car to get groceries and he gagged and said my car smelled gross. Oh my God, how bad is this girl's feet? Took a sniff and it literally did. Not only that, but she left her socks in my car. Ew. What? It's getting hot and I'm trying to make the smell go away. Two days later, but it's literally getting worse. I've tried Glade and airing it out and changed my car scents to stronger ones. How is this possible? I don't know. She left her toe jams everywhere. Oh my God. <laughs> when the car sits overnight in the heat, it's like wet ass feet smell rules all out. I know this sounds stupid, but it's really embarrassing and I have to take her home again today. How do I make my car not smell like feet? Yo. And how do I politely talk to my friend about it? I don't think there's... Yo. I don't think there's a play where you can do this. Well, no. There is a way to do it. How? There's definitely a way. You say, hey, bitch, your feet stink. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. I'm saying there's no polite way. Oh, there's that, no, no yeah, way. No, yeah, no. That's how, yeah, that's exactly what you have yeah. to do. You got to be real and honest. Yes. Like, uh, there's this girl <laughs> at work, and we were smiling something. I couldn't tell. I didn't know that she, and then we, first of all, 
You always need gay men in your life. You do. You always need gay because they will tell you. They the do truth. not give a fuck. Yeah. And they will come up and she, he like he was like, "Hey, bitch, your feet." That's what he did. Hey, bitch, your feet. That's all he said. <laughs> hey, bitch, your feet. <laughs> Can you put your shoes back on? Oh, that's so. You funny. need a shower. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I was like, I love this dude. I love that guy. Um, you do need people in your life like that, though. You're right. Mm-hmm. But it is. I had a girl one time. I had a girl one time. We went to back to her place, and she took off her shoes. I was like, this bitch got athlete's foot. Oh no! Like you can see it or I smell it. Smell what it. is it? What is athlete's feet? Foot look like and smell like. Cru- well, athletes makes your uh, bottom of your foot crusty. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, and um, you and you need cream. Like you gotta like. Any her feet stunk terribly. Okay. They were really bad. Yeah, I, but I didn't have the balls at the time to be like, yo, this is disgusting. That's something you sort of pick up over time, mm-hmm. and then when you become an adult, because really, really, you're doing them a favor. Mm-hmm. You're doing yourself a favor because your car's not going to smell bad, but you're also doing your friend a favor because then they don't have fucking horrendous smelling feet. Yeah, and no it's one's telling her. No one's telling her. That's like someone walking around with their fly down all day, and no one says shit. I tell my friend right, hey man, I can see your dick. Yes, that is what a good friend does. If my friend got a booger, I'm telling him. Yes. You're an asshole if you let them just walk around like that all day. That's not cool. <laughs> it's also like she's unaware because like why would you ask to take off your shoes if you know your feet might stink? True. That's fucking nasty. True. She has to know. I mean, she, I mean, she has to not know. So you have to tell her. You got to tell her. Yeah. Well, tell You're- her. Yeah. Ugh. And there's no polite way to do it. Just tell her. Be like, look, dude, I like you. Your feet smell fucking terrible. It mm-hmm. made my car smell for two, two days, days. 48 hours. Two, 48 hours. You have to do something about your feet. You might have a problem. Yeah. Also, it might be the socks. It could right? be the socks. Because if you wear nylon socks, your feet will stink. Ew, really? You got to wear, uh, it got to be like 60% or 40% cotton. Okay. And then the See, rest of the wear. Yeah, you have to. Wear. All right. I, what are these? Probably cotton. I hope so. Yeah. Cotton, cotton socks. These are Puma. They're for working out. They should, they should be cotton. Yeah, they, that's right. definitely. Yeah. Good. We're good. <laughs> I'm like, I've, made a, I've made a mistake of buying nylon socks and like fucking up some shoes. Really? Yeah. When I was, when I was in Hawaii, I used to. God, I was such a fucking heathen. Uh, mm-hmm. I never wore socks, even with shoes. I would wear that's Converse. Not Dominican of you, yo. What is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would just put baby powder in my shoes to keep it from smelling bad. <laughs> I just didn't wear socks. Oh, that's so cr- Converse. Though? With Converse, yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. It's uh, what? Yeah. Wow, you're a different breed. I'm yeah. a weirdo. I'm a yeah. fucking heathen person. I was just also. I literally just tweeted out too that sometimes I find myself wiping my nose on my shirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even when I have what do you a box mean, like, of like, yeah, like if I have like it's not coming out, I'll just yeah. like wow. Even if I have a box of tissue, tissues next to me, you're a different. I'm so gross. You're gross, dude. <laughs> I'm so gross. D- this is the only fans you guys are paying for right here. <laughs> you guys are paying for this heathen person. <laughs> this heathen I Photoshop all the boogers out. <laughs> for, for, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they're they're there. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the this is the part of the episode when we're wrapping things up. I like to. Have my guests read a fun little story mm. from Reddit, and we're going to decide if we think it's real or not. Oh, let's go. Is this just this right here? D- yeah. So, and then it's it's going to be a little bit long, okay. but it should be. You're going to see my. Sure uh, the right one. Yeah. Yeah. I saw something about feet. All right. Feet. Work colleague sent me pictures of her husband's big dick. <gasps> I started a new job recently, and the only other girl is a middle-aged woman named Erica. Over the past few months, we've gotten closer and started spending a lot of lunch breaks together. That's where a lot of dick pics get shared. Mm -hmm. One lunch, we were talking about our sexual past, and Erica asked if my boyfriend is hung. I said, he's a good size, a little above average. But before I could finish, she blurted it out that her husband had a huge dick. I kind of laughed. (laughs) That's that's cool. Yeah. That's dope. You be proud of your husband's dick. Proud of your husband cock, yo. That's awesome. Look at it. It's beautiful. I kind of laughed and said, okay, but Erica lifted her arm next to her face. I'm serious. He's bigger than my forearm. I was skeptical and just nodded. All right. Seeing my skepticism, Erica yanked out her phone and began scrolling through her photos. I told her to stop, but she wouldn't have it. Instead of just showing me like a normal person, my phone dinged. (laughs) 
<laughs> my phone dinged and I looked down to see that Erica messaged me a few photos. I was a little weirded out by how much Erica wanted me to see her husband's dick. Yeah, this is a fetish. It's starting to sound like. This is, this is like a, but you, you know what it is, yo? It is a freak show. Yeah. Right? Like having a penis that big, the size of a fucking form. Like if it's actually that huge. That's a big deal. I would want everyone to know too. You'd be like, tell your if tell your wife to show all her friends. It's also showing her like this is the kind of dick I take. <laughs> <laughs> That's a power move. That's a power move. <laughs> Weak bitch. What you got? <laughs> Breast above average. <laughs> Six inches. Six and a half. Excuse me. That's what you got. <laughs> I got horse dick dot mpeg over here. <laughs> Can- <laughs> so I just took a peek and told her how lucky she is. It looked big, but I didn't get a good look at that point. Erica just smiled and looked very proud of herself. <laughs> I didn't delete the pics. And when I got back from work, I decided to take a look again. There were three photos. The first is a picture of her between his legs, comparing his dick to her. <laughs> she just compares the dick? <laughs> she, she took a picture. This chick took a picture of her husband's penis next to her forearm. Like, she was like, we're going to uh, we're gonna show people for yeah, real it's for the real. size of my forearm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comparing his dick to her arm. The thing is enormous. Vain with a big, big head. Her arm is lined up next to his cock, which she went from penis, by the way, to saying cock, which is which the goes slightly jump. past her wrist and is, a, and is about as thick as her arm. Erica's oh, other shit. hand is holding it up. And her fingers aren't even close to t- close to touching. Good lord! The second pick is him resting his fat thing on her <laughs> face. He is he isn't <laughs> completely hard, but it looks really happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Starting from her chin and hanging off the top of her. <laughs> so fucking hell. That's so bad. And by the way. I- you know what's crazy? Last night, I heard a very similar story. Wait, seriously? Yes. Someone telling that they had a friend whose husband had a giant dick? No, no, no not like that. It was like, a, this, I was uh, partying last night, and it was this girl who I thought was kind of attractive, and I asked my friend about it, and she mm-hmm. goes, yeah, and she's about it, about it. She just keeps showing me uh, her, like, resting dicks on her face, like, different kind of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a gallery yeah, of dicks ga- resting just, on her face yeah, she, she saves it. them all like trophies yes. <laughs> that's so weird and those are the kind of girls i'm into oh so. i love it go for it the last oh wait hold on the second thing okay hanging off the top of her head he completely covers her mouth and nose and i just see the sides of her eyes underneath his dick <laughs> the last pick is split into two on the left his cock is on her stomach it reaches pretty far past her belly button. How is this possible? I, I don't know. Is, she, is he sitting on her face? Well, I'm thinking... Well, I was thinking from this direction. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then it goes like, uh, past her belly button. <laughs> but I know, I could be wrong. He might uh, be sitting on her face. I hope he's sitting on he's her face. He's probably... He's like, he's Taking possessed. a picture? Like, look at this. <laughs> and the left, his cock is on her stomach. It reaches pretty far past her belly button. And it looks unnaturally wide compared to her waist. On the right, his cock is almost entirely inside her and her pussy. It's stretched out so... Damn, she sent you... Yeah, what are these pictures she sent? Yo, stretched out so, mu- so much on his thick thing. I'm honestly shocked by how much of him she can take. You see, she's trying to brag. She yo. has a big... She's like, look, my giant pussy. Look at it. Look yo, at it's it. It's not even a giant pussy. It's just... That shit touches my heart, Huge son. vagina. Since then, she makes a lot of comments to me about being so because of him and she just walks around with a lip you know what this is about she just wanted someone to share with she's just like because oh, oh. she's always complaining I'm, I'm so sore but I was like why is this bitch always sore she don't even work out and fucking Erica's like you know you know, you know. <laughs> that's so funny uh, <laughs> I just uh, since then she makes a lot of comments to me about being sore because of him and stuff like that I just laugh along but now but I'm now low key amazed her puss can handle his huge dick on a regular basis I'd also be lying if I didn't admit to playing with myself a few times using the pictures I feel a bit conflicted because on one hand Erica probably just wants to brag about her husband's impressive dick so it's like harmless on the other hand I didn't ask for the pictures of her boyfriend who she knows. What? I didn't ask for the pics and I have a boyfriend. Oh, okay. okay. 
who she knows about. Erica also invited me to have dinner with her and her husband this weekend. Oh, this I'm is. I'm not sure what to do. This is turning into a she's trying to get this girl as a three. Mm-hmm. She's trying to get this girl as a third. I have That's a what boyfriend and I'm worried they might try something. This is, is this more? Does it continue? I don't know. No, that's no? it. I think that's it. That's a real story. You think that's real? That's a real story. I actually agree with you. Usually I think they're fake, but this actually seems like it might be real. This girl is trying to lead her into a three-way. A three-way. Yeah. Yeah. And and she's doing a good, she's a good recruiter. She's doing a really Let's good real? job. She's yeah. a good recruiter. She's she's done this before. This yeah. is not her first this time. This is not her first role. Yeah, no. <laughs> she's like, huh? 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 Look, look at this look, dick. Look at it. <laughs> you thinking about it? <laughs> pleasuring yourself to it come on over you want to walk you want to be limp sisters <laughs> limp sisters yeah yep. that's the name of this episode <laughs> limp sisters that is exactly the name of this episode limp sisters with kevin sanchez oh my goodness sanchez yo. i'm sorry sanchez or it you is say it. i like the way you said it the first time sanchez Sa- no it's sanchez sanchez okay oh, sanchez that was i don't know that felt hawaiian i don't know why it came out like that maybe it is hawaiian oh my goodness yo i i don't know i, I would honestly the truth is i would want a girl i'm with to brag her friends because you always kind of want to you want to see i remember i was with this girl and we were dating for a while. And, you know, to spice things up, we started talking. Like, while we were fucking, we would talk about the the girls in her friend group that we would want to fuck together. Okay. All right. Right? And, like, you know, I still want to smash. Them. Like, I, I, yeah. And I hold it. I was like, could I make this happen? Did you ever get to make it happen? I think I could have. But then I started cheating. Oh, uh, so- like, Kevin, <laughs> you could have had a threesome. <laughs> Nah, she would have got jealous. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. It's it from everything I've heard from girls who have had threesomes. It's hard to watch your like with boyfriends and people that they love. It's hard to watch someone you love fuck someone else. Yeah, it has and, to that's be. like every. That's what what I've heard from everyone who's done it in committed. Hey, why you come so quick? <laughs> that's how turned on you were. Hmm? <laughs> you fuck me for twenty. You trying to say my pussy not good right now? <laughs> It would turn into a thing, yeah. It's 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 very hard. You have to be in like a super solid place, and then even then, like, don't fuck your you can't fuck your friends. Like that's I don't think you can bring friends into it's it. You got to find a rando. Oh, but it's crazy, like, because I mess with girls who also have hot friends. That, which you're like, that's hard. And I'm and and it's like I, you know, I want to smash them, right? Like you know, <laughs> there's no way around it. Your friends are hot. Your friends are hot. What do you want me to do about this? And you're. Whatever. <laughs> do Do you have hot friends? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So then she maybe wants to smash your friends. Of course. There you go. Of course. Even Stevens. I don't know if I'll let her though. <laughs> it's weird when it's friends. That's where it gets weird. That's when it gets too hard. I feel like if you're gonna do that stuff, you have to. It has to be with someone you you're not gonna see in your daily life. They're not part of your friend group because that's that gets too personal. It's also, too what if you're like uh, just two scenarios here. The obvious one is what if your friend fucks better than you? That too. Or what if you find out your friend can't fuck at all? And then you lose all respect for and them. And you're like... <laughs> Weak ass bitch. <laughs> no, bro. That's your stroke. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you fucking out here? You're like, you're not even giving my girl a good time. <laughs> no, bro. What's going on? <laughs> this is terrible. Slow it down, bro. Chill. This <laughs> is... Selfish bitch, like come on. I don't <laughs> put a finger on her butt, bro. She's into it. I gotta, At least I, act like you're trying. I saw like backseat. I like like fucking. What's that called when you like, backseat gaming? Uh, no, yeah, driving. Back, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 backseat gaming. Backseat shit. gaming. That's the thing. People come on Twitch, and I've had people ask me on Twitch where they'll come into my Twitch chat and be like, "Hey, can I give you pointers?" Because they know no one fucking likes that, so Wait. they come in and ask. Pointers on what? Playing games, not sex. Oh. Video games on Twitch. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. I'm about to say, Wait, hey, on OnlyFans? On Only- they're like, bitch, can you do this better? <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing it good. I came here to see you. I came here for yeah. a good time. <laughs> that would be so insulting. I'd Yo, be like, I, really? No, you know what's the funniest thing ever? <sighs> Pornhub and accent. X and XX mm-hmm. comment sections are the best. Oh my God. I've seen some hilarious ones. There was one that circulated the internet. You probably saw it. it made me laugh so fucking hard where the, the, it was like the end of the video and the guy was commented and he's like, 
He's like, how insulting this beautiful woman. And that's all the fucking jizz you gave her. He was like, you just gave her two drips. That's Yo, it. I think that's I've all, seen that. Seen that I've one? definitely it's seen really that. Comment. Actually, it's, I think I saw that porn. <laughs> and like, I, I've seen that video. <laughs> I've seen that, but it's, there's a few where you're like, come on, bro. That's it. But you know what, though? It's embarrassing. I can't shoot. At all? I'm not a shooter. Really? Yeah, no. The only time I've, I've done it, like, maybe I, I could count. I remember the times that I've shot far. Okay. One time. <laughs> <laughs> one time I was like, uh, I didn't like, I was like 17, 18. I hadn't jerked off in a week. Which is a long which time a for a 17, 18 time, year old. Yeah. Like four scores. <laughs> <seven years. laughs> and like, I was in bed doing my thing and I came and shot up and hit me right in the face. Did it get in your eye? No, I, didn't get, I heard it burn. It hurts so bad and your eye gets bright. It's horrible. It is a horrible. My, my friend, I want every guy to know the pain of jizz in the eye. My friend Grant tells me that all the time. Yeah, it was, sucks. Yeah, he was like, I just got jizz in my eye. It fucking hurts. <laughs> I'm assuming he's gay. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's terrible. Oh, it is shit. terrible. <laughs> Damn, what would you do if your friend was like, um, look at my look at my husband's dick, and like so, I mean, I'm sure it happens all the time, but like no, I've actually never had any of my friends show me their husband's dick. Little dick ass motherfuckers. <laughs> None of them have bragging little, dicks. Yo, little little dicks out here, yo. Yeah, no, I don't know if there's. I would just be like, all right, cool, I guess. But <laughs> the thing is, I wouldn't want my. If it's one thing, if it's just like a guy they're fucking, that's fine. But if it's someone that they're with. I don't want to see their dick and then have to look at them and like look in their eyes and be like, hey, what's up? I've seen your dick. Yeah. Like it's that's all I'll be thinking. It's like, don't show me if it's someone that's important to you. No, I don't do that. Also, I don't like saying. I don't like adding my homies girls on Instagram. Yeah, I can see that because they'd be throwing thought pics and I'm like, you're like, this is a thirst trap. Yeah. And then you're there and like, do I jerk off to this? Or, <laughs> or do I respect my friend? Do I respect my friend? <laughs> is it disrespectful not to jerk off to this? Also true. Is that insulting? <laughs> is that insulting? Saying, <laughs> your, saying your girl's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend tell me that he jerked off to my girl once. Really? Yeah. Were you flattered or pissed off? I could care less. Just, I, just not, whatever. I Zero like, feelings. And Because also I looked at him. And I, I see him. My girl, The girl I was with at the time would never. Right. She was just with the, he's, you know. He's also a troll under the bridge. That was before the podcast started. He's homely. Right? Before we yeah. were talking about a lady that looked like a troll under the yeah. bridge. Yeah. So this is a troll guy. So you're just like, it's fine. <laughs> She'd never fuck you. Good luck, dude. Yo, I hope though. I hope they. You know what? I hope Erica gets what she wants. Yeah. Yeah. She has a limp sister, uh, in the office with her. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of solidarity. Solidarity. Yeah. She's gonna cheat on her boyfriend for it, but you know. <gasps> <laughs> he's got a boyfriend <laughs> or she's got a boyfriend that's what happens when you're just above average yeah sorry you're gonna lose out to guys with giant dicks giant good luck dick. with that <laughs> you saw that rumor that it, I'm sorry, I know you got it no no it's okay <laughs> did you did you see that thing where they were saying um, they try to like say that little penises are coming back no as a as a like a like as a fashion statement almost as a I didn't know a dick was a fashion statement like a, <laughs> come like back a, was it ever in before like, like what is yo they're trying to say that small dicks are in fashion yep. did Brendan Saglo start this <laughs> <laughs> did he start this rumor <laughs> <laughs> I love Brendan. He's really nice. But he talks about how he has a four inch dick all the time. Does he? Yes. He talked about it on Jim and Sam. He's talked about Is it, it really on a four inch penis? That's what he claims. He claims he has nah, a four inch dick. That dude probably has a hog on him. You think it's giant? I think when people are like, like he's or he's really small. Or he's really small and he's trying to like pump it up a little bit. Now I need to get Brendan on the podcast and be like, so Brendan. Pull it out. How do he has take it out? We'll blur it for YouTube. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. We'll cut this part out. It'll go up only on OnlyFans. <laughs> you know, girls lie a lot about their significant other penis. Do they? Mm hmm. Uh, I remember when I was in the army, I was uh, smashing this chick. And before we smashed, it was like my ex had the biggest dick I've ever had in my life. It she was, said that? She said that. Okay. I said, word. Yeah. And then um, I said, okay, whatever, I don't care. And then she goes, yeah, he's like 10, 12 inches. I'm like, word? I don't believe that. That's not real. And a ten inch dick. That's too much. That's too. That's much. wild. That's yeah. A, that's like. It sounds like the dick in this story. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know if I. I feel like, who, Mr. Marcus? Is that what we talked about? Mr. I don't read. Uh, oh, is that doped like, up and dying. Didn't that come up, or am I thinking of a different podcast? Did you think of a different podcast? Maybe I don't know. Shit. Now I can't remember. I, have, I still haven't seen his dick, but I am curious. 
Mr. Uh, Mr. Market. Is that the guy with the Timberlands? Yes. Oh, yes. That yeah. was Doped Up and Dying. <laughs> no, dope okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. on you, yo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, but, so I only remember that because I know Mr. Marcus. So then we end up fucking. She goes, this is the biggest dick I've ever had. I'm like, bitch, my dick is nowhere near. It far. is not 10 to 12 inches. It's not inches. 10 to 12 inches. So you, you were in love. Yeah. I think girls fall in love and they just like extend the size <laughs> of their loved ones. They're like, his dick is huge. huge. No, it's not. It's, it's, just, it's all love, girl. You know, that's nice, though. Mm, They're gosh. looking at through rose-colored glasses. They're like, this is great for me. <laughs> this is perfect. I also don't think that they know what 10 to 12 inches is. Apparently, the average size of a dick is the size of, not, not girth length, of a Sharpie. That's apparently the average dick length. It's not bad. Right? That's it's fine. Bad. Our cervixes are in there. Once it hits cervix, it hurts. So it can't be that much bigger anyway. Some girls love that pain. Though. Oh, I don't like it. Some girls love Doesn't feel good. The pain. I knew... Oh, my goodness. How did we get sexual over... Oh, I don't... This oh, the story. The story. story. I made you read. Um, I remember this... I was with this girl. She almost ruined me. Because it's in a, Like, once you get a girl... She liked it bef- like to get fucked without being lubricated first. Ow. What the yes. hell is wrong with this girl? But she would also squirt. Oh. So it will go from dry to wet. To Real quick. Wet. Okay. It was a rainfall. So <laughs> and girls like that are dangerous because you start like changing your sexual preferences, you know, and now mm-hmm. Yeah, it took a, it took a while. And it for took, you to go back to regular, to regular girls, you're like, yeah. you don't squirt. You don't, you don't excuse me. You don't like it. I need to eat you out. What? <laughs> I need to make you wet first. What? Excuse me. <laughs> that's that's old school. <laughs> <laughs> we just put it in dry no, here. We put it in please. dry and then we work to you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> that's where we're leaving it. <laughs> Everybody, find you a girl that likes it dry and then squirts later. That's the that is the future. If you could. <laughs> Fellas, if you could find that, it'll change your life. It'll change your life forever. It'll change your life forever. I want to say her name so bad, but I can't do it. No, first name. Does she have a regular first name? Is it like Jennifer or something? No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, (laughs) just know you're out there and you're changing men's lives for the better. Hey, you got to (laughs) stop. This is a PSA to you. Stop what you're doing. You're you're ruining men. You're ruining right. Yeah, you're ruining them for the rest of us, yeah, lady. Yeah, I should be mad as a woman. You're the, not, I don't care. <laughs> you're the 1% in this scenario where you like dry sex at first, right? But does that feel good for the guy, too? It hurts. It hurts, right? It hurts, but it also feels good. Interesting. Right? If you like a little bit of pain. Right, right, right. Pain with pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's a Sum 41 song. But it's also, I knew what was coming. Pain for pleasure. Oh. So, like... The pain felt good because I knew... That the wetness was coming, coming, so it was fine. But the first time we did it, I didn't know. So you're just like, ow, this hurts. This This is terrible. And then a minute or two in... Maybe she liked it dry because that's what got her to squirt. Yes. That's probably it. It's probably something about the friction, maybe. Oh, she's the best. I miss her. (laughs) (laughs) If you're out there and you're single, hit Kevin up. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, of course. Thank you for making the trek out to Jersey. Uh, Where can people find you? Uh, ITS Kevin Sanchez on Instagram. Papa Sanchez on Twitter. Doped Up and Dying uh, is my podcast with Dylan Negri and uh, DC Williams. And then... The Mac Almanac. I'm out here. That's Hell a yeah. lot. Uh, and the Mac Almanac with Josh Pallet, the great Josh Pallet. Fuck yes. Let's go. Hell yeah. Go check him out, guys. Check out all of his stuff. He's hilarious. This is a really fun episode. Thank you. I appreciate I had, it. I had a great time. Thank uh, you so much for, uh, for watching, the, guys. Go ahead. I'm also ahead. the uh, third biggest comic in Indonesia. Just He's the know. third biggest comic <laughs> in Indonesia. Fuck yeah. So if there's any <laughs> listeners in Indonesia... <laughs> got your boy Kevin on. Yo, what up, son? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you like it. It helps us out. Subscribe to the channel. Turn the little bell on. So every Saturday you get a new episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not following me, I guess, on Twitter and Instagram, it's what at Zia doing? underscore land. Yeah, what the hell's going on? Uh, the episode goes out on OnlyFans a week early. Let's so if go. you want to get it early, yeah, it's there. Plus a bunch of other spicy pictures. Twitch and... Oh, I guess Twitch is the only other thing because this is YouTube. Uh, Zealand there as well, X-I-A-L-A-N-D. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next Thank week. You guys.